Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the Takara Transformers Masterpiece MP53 Skids and MP54 Reboost. I think this is the first time in quite a while that uh, Takara have released two figures at the same time. Uh, but I guess being uh, repaints of each other, um, it wasn't too much of a stretch for them. Um, and I think they planned this probably for quite a number of years. I think uh, this Honda City um, official um, uh, licensed car um, has probably been in the works since uh, MP17 Prowl. Um, it really does harken back to that era of uh, the masterpiece figures um, and not so much the more recent era in the more cartoon aesthetic uh, that they've been going for. Uh, but we'll get more to that uh, a bit later. Onto the box art, you get the standard sort of uh, styling in this carbot style. Uh, this does look uh, very much like a weird Optimus Prime to be honest. I don't know where this reboost uh, repaint or style came from if it's a die clone or not um, but uh, it probably is and I think uh, the I can't remember the MP53 plus or 54 plus uh, crosscut I don't know if that's another um, die clone variant either but I do have that pre-ordered as well coming um, I think in February um, with Skywarp coming up next, uh, which has shipped out by uh, Robot Kingdom already, so hopefully I get that within the next two weeks. Um, but here's the box art for Skids. Um, and you can see him with some of the original uh, style MP figures there with um, Blue Streak and Tracks. The uh, card art, a bit of different styling on both here. Um, I'm not too much of a fan of these styles, but. Um, they do the job and um, I pretty much just put and store them away anyway so they uh, are what they are. Um, get the stands out of the way uh, with the accessories. They don't come with too much with skids here. You do get his, I think what they call the liquid nitrogen rifle or something like that. I would have had no idea what that was um, if they in the instruction manual didn't say. Uh, but it is nicely painted in that uh, blue. And black there so I can't complain too much and this nicely chromed uh, double rifle sort of gauntlet thing that goes on his arm um, is pretty nicely done too they do sort of give a very G1 toy uh, vintage style aesthetic to them and feel um, so if you're into the G1 toys you'll know what uh, the look and feel are when you pick these up um, and with the reboost here this one does look very much like one of those original G1 rifles that the toys used to have um, and the chroming is actually really nicely done so this he gets one rifle I think this is like a I don't know if it's a shoulder cannon or some other sort of cannon so that looks pretty good um, and he gets the same sort of um, uh, twin fire uh, gauntlet rifle thing on reboost as well I guess with the reboost it does come with the motor scooter um, and if you know the history of this Honda Civic, uh, you'll know that it did come with this uh, variant of the scooter that you could fold up and put in the boot. Um, I never actually saw this. I don't know if it was just the Japanese release in the 80s or 70s, um, but uh, I guess they gave the option for people to buy the car and also buy this to scoot around the city. Um, and it is nicely painted here in that nice um, uh, bright red. Um, it does fold away as well. I think these um, handlebar things sort of fold. I, don't, I haven't even looked at the instructions on how to fold that all away, but apparently you can fold it up and put it in the, the boot. Um, it also comes with the translucent man, which I've got facing the wrong way, um, but you get the feel there. Um, apparently you can fit it inside the car. Uh, but I'll show you in a second. The, the room is very tight and I'm not even going to bother. I might just have him sitting on the, uh, the scooter. Um, and I think it is roughly the same size as the uh, spike um, that came with, I can't remember which figure that came with, MP44 Optimus maybe. Uh, but um, uh, I'll see what I, um, the scale I guess when I put them all in the display cabinet. But um, on to the cars themselves. Hold on. Right, so here is Skids, and I do love the painted detail that they've got on the figure. I think overall the paint app um, is very sharp. Uh, there's no sort of bleeding anywhere that I can see. Um, and this is probably the 
figure with the best QC paint wise I've had for quite a while. Every other figure I've had has had some sort of um, paint defect somewhere. Um, I can't quite make out too many apart from uh, a bit of dust here and there that I'm trying to wipe off. Uh, but uh, overall, uh, it's very nicely done. I do like the city number plate there and the sort of Honda logo there and the logo in the middle with turbo written in red. I'm not sure if you can make that out. You've got turbo on the side. These red decals are very nicely done. And I do like the bright yellow headlights there and the symbol on the front. So that's all very nicely done. No rubber wheels as per pretty much all the uh, MP car bots. Um, it does have a few articulated figures in car mode. I think you just sort of lift the hood here, get your fingernail in the gap there if you can. Um, it was quite difficult for me the first time but you just sort of get your fingernail just between that uh, air intake and pull these forward um, and then you can lift the hood uh, quite a bit further and then you get some nice painted detail on the inside there which is uh, very nicely done. Nice bit of silver, um, yellow and gold and the, the red there so that's nicely done. Uh, similarly for the boot here you can lift it up and then pull it out at the top hinge there just to give it a bit of space and open it up all the way in there. So there's quite a bit of space. I think there's a, a peg in peg hole in there. Not sure if you can quite see that, but uh, this peg, um, one of those pegs in anyway, gets in there. I'm not even going to bother trying that. Um, it, uh, I tried doing that um, on Reboost just before and it is a pain in the ass to, to get back out um, as um, the scooter is as well. So I'll uh, show you guys that in a second. Uh, the doors also open. You just need to unpeg that um, and then just uh, put it back in like so. And you can see that the sort of cockpit area is pretty tight. So you might be able to get the, the figure in there, but um, it's not going to be doing too much in there at all. Um, but uh, that's pretty much the look you get with everything opened. Um, and reboost here is pretty much the same. Love the red there. Slightly different uh, detailing. Um, this is not the turbo version, so just the standard city version. Um, but again, love the decals, the logos and so on. Very nicely done in this uh, painted red. I think pretty much every surface has got paint on it apart from the um, bot mode uh, plastic parts that you see there but everything else in car mode I think is pretty much painted from what I can see I think the only difference in paint app uh, to skids is if I just pull that hood forward again there is a bit of a slight difference in the painted detail on the inside as you can see there so much brighter on the reboost with the same sort of silver and red sort of highlights and so on so lovely detail there by Takara now I'm not going to do the transformation on screen because um, even though this is apparently a lot easier than the more recent releases um, it always takes me forever to do these transformations so I'll um, do the transformation off screen for both of them and uh, then give you guys a closer look at the uh, bot mode hold on Alright, so here is skids in bot mode. Uh, the transformation wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Uh, the lower half in particular was pretty simple um, and all of the folding and so on. Um, so definitely a departure from the more recent complex transformations. Uh, I guess the trickiest part was probably the unfolding the arms and then tabbing in these torso parts under the armpits here. That was a little bit fiddly, uh, but in the end, um, overall, uh, it was nowhere near as difficult as I thought it was going to be and it does clean up fairly nicely from the back there no sort of major gappages along the the inside or the rear and the back there looks pretty cool but uh, of course uh, my focus has always been on the front and the front does look pretty damn nice as well uh, most of the parts here are plastic I think um, at least on skid but the, there are some painted parts on the arms here as well uh, from a cartoon accuracy perspective, I don't think the arms are, particularly the shoulders here, are cartoon accurate. Uh, but uh, looking back at the cartoon, the arms do sort of stick out from the armpit area in a pretty ridiculous sort of way. 
Um, so I'm glad they uh, de decided to depart from that. I think there are some sort of variations to the transformation that uh, I've seen from uh, some of the forums where you can have this um, back plate here that does not have the sort of decal or the, the colored painted molding there um, and have that facing the front um, and maybe a little bit lower uh, which uh, probably does look a little bit more cartoon accurate but I think uh, it does look a little bit odd um, and I guess it is in keeping with the cartoon but uh, for this particular style um, in keeping with um, some of the earlier ones around um, the Datsun mold, uh, the Lancia mold etc with wheel jack and so on I think this fits uh, beautifully uh, articulation wise the arms are pretty good um, all the way out double jointed elbows there um, all the joints and so on are fairly tight um, the only thing I don't like about the arms are they are a little bit thin and spindly um, but um, not too bad overall uh, the waist has the usual waist articulation I'm not sure why mine sort of seems to be stuck going that way well there you go just a little bit tight um, the hips here when you do the transformation just make sure you sort of push the the upper legs out just to give it uh, the consistent sort of line there uh, knees uh, you get the bend there and I do like the ankle sort of rocking motion uh, back and forth there and the tilt back and forth as well so decent articulation in the ankles there there is lots of support with the heel spur there um, the only articulation wise that's maybe a little bit lacking is you can't move that hip ratchet back any further than that um, but I guess uh, moving the legs or the hips back <clears throat> too far probably is a little bit unnatural anyway so for the most part even in a walking pose you can get him looking pretty damn good uh, reboost here very similar I guess the major difference is of course the head sculpt there um, and these thigh areas are a painted uh, silver so they they do look quite nice um, but the articulation and everything else is pretty much the same a few more sort of minor differences in the uh, sort of decals and paint application but uh, overall uh, you get the picture with this particular um, repaint um, for me I'll probably put this one as the standard into um, uh, car mode and uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with crosscut which is the silver paint application I might have that in um, bot mode as well I guess as the variant of this one but uh, I'll have to see when I get that in hand uh, but that's pretty much it for these two um, if you're a masterpiece fan and like the sort of older style um, similar to Prowl, Wheeljack etc then I think you're really going to like uh, this particular version um, even if you're a more cartoon sort of um, aesthetic fan uh, like myself I think you'll still like this as a uh, something a bit different in the series um, I guess I, I would, have, would have preferred if they had still gone with um, something like Jazz or Trailbreaker or something like that a, a character that um, was more prominent in the cartoon I honestly can't even remember what uh, episode these guys uh, skids at least uh, appeared in um, I heard he probably only appeared in one or two episodes um, but I guess they being a Japanese company, they really did want to um, pay homage to the Honda City. I can't remember if it's the 40th anniversary or whatever it is. So um, I guess Takara as a Japanese company can uh, do whatever it is they please. Um, but I guess uh, as a G1 character, I'm glad they released something like this um, and just hope that in 2022, they announce uh, further characters in the G1 line. But um, that's pretty much all of my thoughts on this MP53 and 54 mo mold. Um, hopefully you can give the video a like and subscribe. Uh, I do have Skywarp coming up next, um, hopefully in the next week or two. So hopefully you can subscribe and stay tuned for that. Uh, and until then, thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.